What's cool? What's groovy? What's happening? So this all started when the other day I decided to buy a scotch egg. Now if you don't know what it is, it consists of a soft or hard boiled egg wrapped in sausage meat and coated in breadcrumbs and baked or deep fried. Now when I got mine in the shop, I was super excited because I thought this would be great for my series Does It Lack Those Flavors on IG. That is, does it lack those flavors? It is all one word. Go follow your girl. Where I try out lactose free foods and drinks and stuff like that. And I thought this would be a great opportunity to, you know, try this. So I saw it, I was very excited, and I put mine in the oven. It came out super crunchy, looking delicious. I, you know, cut into it and I had some of it, and it was really, really nice. Then when it started to cool down a little bit, I realized that the egg was obviously it's a boiled egg the egg white usually is just seamless you know it's just a whole normal egg white my egg white didn't look like that okay i had a closer look and this egg was like it was made in layers different different layers so you could kind of peel it apart and i'd never seen it an egg look like that so then immediately my mind started going back immediately I started thinking about these videos that I would be seeing circulating on whatsapp mainly about fake foods um, I think we've all seen these videos about plastic rice you know people would boil rice and then mold it into a ball in their hands and it would just be bouncing off the floor like a proper rubber ball you remember those rubber balls when we were kids that would bounce like from the floor all the way to the ceiling yeah people's rice was doing that okay rice that they had cooked they would show the packaging they would cook it in front of us for all of us to see they would mold it mold it into a ball and it would probably be bouncing up and down and it was like it was crazy it's like how can normal rice do this and then there were also things about fake eggs and it just didn't look right you are seeing what i'm seeing right you see the different layers it's really weird and then there's like water coming out of it as well and my friends did do some re research and they saw that if your egg is old it might do this but why would they sell an egg that is old in the supermarket and it wasn't date yeah there were videos about artificial garbage you know cabbage that they were just making with like liquids that looked white and green and they would just layer it up in a pool full of some kind of liquidy substance and then make cabbage and people were like oh my goodness is this what we're and eating and then oh, there were all kinds of videos going around right and thousands and thousands of people were sharing these videos online um you know kind of sometimes have to take these things on the internet with a grain of salt because you do not know what the reality really is in one of the videos where they were supposedly showing people manufacturing meat manufacturing meat so actually making meat um it showed workers add a product to an elastic looking material that had the coloring of a of raw meat and the, vi the video the caption says um be careful what you eat fake beef made in china so in the video it's a worker that there's a worker that tips a white product into a dark red material that is ro rotating on like a huge metal roller and then the mixture is like a marble dark red and white and it looks a lot like red beef right so the original post you know garnered so many views and gained so much attention and pretty much went viral in just a few days before getting deleted and you know look I think with all these videos we need to do our own research we have to find online verification tools to ensure that we don't believe everything without any proof you know for me now I'm thinking hmm, if we're not seeing these things being manufactured and then people eating it or being cooked and stuff and then have people eat it and it not tasting or feeling like plastic and people being able to eat it chow it down and yeah not have any issues then I would say, okay, they're making edible plastic stuff. I'm sure this is a thing though. I know that fake food is a thing, but anywho, I don't know, there was a lot of controversy. And then, you know, for instance, going back to the meat video, eventually it got completely debunked and they showed that it was not meat. Actually, the video shows the classic process for um, rubber production during the rolling out process. So that turns the primary material into a thin kind of dough that is more malleable afterwards. So apparently this is the kind of pasty like material that is used to make joints for pipes. So basically people are editing videos in a certain way to make it seem and putting headlines on top of it, captions on top of it, to make it seem like all oh, this stuff is fake food when in fact maybe it has nothing to do with food at all only for clicks only for likes only for things to go viral now when i bought my squash egg i became paranoid i freaked out i looked at it i had like a few bites and when i saw that the egg looked that way i basically throw the whole thing away now i i don't know 
I don't know I, I spoke to my friends about it and they they were like how is it that you're the only one that's always ever telling us about these things it's because I get these things sent by the whatsapp gangsters on, on whatsapp I get these things sent to my phone and I watch them and yes it does it does make you paranoid by the end of the day it's a lot of us on this planet today like there's so many people on this planet and it's becoming very difficult for us to keep producing food content like maybe we used to back in the day things aren't always as fresh you know and so people are finding loopholes um, to kind of feed everybody here on earth and they know food is is a necessity and so anything to make money right so people are manufacturing foods that look like a certain type of food but aren't actually that food so yeah I don't know whether what I had was fake or not it's from a very famous supermarket and I do not think that they would let this kind of get into their shelves to be honest um, these things are heavily heavily regulated especially in the Western world but actually not especially in the Western world in supermarkets worldwide a supermarket will not have you know there's just no way fake food can get get through and get on the shelves it's so so severely regulated so i really don't know let me know what you think i really don't know what to make of it i threw it out i didn't eat the rest of it because i'd never seen egg that looked that way and let me also say something if you're seeing food that doesn't look right doesn't taste right even in restaurants because i've had this a lot in restaurants where you order maybe a steak or just something and it just doesn't it doesn't look right it doesn't taste right don't feel obligated to eat that you don't need to eat that you don't you can always send it back you know watching loads of kitchen nightmares has made me see that look if the thing ain't good you can say listen I don't like this can I get something else can I get my money back and that is what I've been doing because I'm not gonna put things into my stomach that don't don't like that I'll, I will even if I consumed it, I would keep thinking, oh my goodness, what if that was plastic egg? Oh my goodness, what if that was fake? Like, what if I'm going to get sick out of this? And, you know, sometimes the mental is a strong thing. You might actually get sick out of it. Maybe because you're worried sick and then you become sick sick. I don't know. But anyway, just avoid it at all costs. You pay for your goods. You pay for products. You pay for food and drinks. So it has to be worth paying for. Don't just eat any and everything. But when it comes to these videos, just do your research. Make sure you do your research and know that you're not just watching some fake video. Because just like there's fake foods, there's also fake videos out there. You just buy your food from well-recognized shops and stuff. And you shouldn't really have a problem. So anyway, I just wanted to talk about that on here um yeah let me know what you think let me know what you think about this did i buy fake egg does this look fake to you or also what i forgot to mention is that loads of these youtube people where they're now testing if their food is fake but i don't know if you can ever really know you know people are burning their food and then like if it didn't burn up like like a normal cheese would kind of melt and burn up and then some of these cheeses were just not burning but i don't know if it's because it's plastic or well it, it usually would look a lot like plastic actually to be honest but I don't know if it's because it's plastic or the things that they use to make these cheeses because you know these days cheese is not really all that um, real you know it's not just they don't make these things in conventional ways anymore because like I said we're trying to feed billions of people out here so yeah anyway let me know what you think um, whatever you do, make sure you hit thumbs thumb as well as the subscribe button. And whilst you're at it, hit the notification bell. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. So tell me why this is the only thing that comes up when you type in plastic eggs on Google. I mean, I know, but still.